Hey, this is Slap Out Lash Girl Melissa. Welcome back to my channel. I'm excited that you're here because we're going to do something today that I think you're going to love. I do. I think CoverGirl has really hit their mark here lately on products. And so this one here is one that I've just reviewed not too long ago. This one is the Simply Ageless. Um, oh my gosh, it, it's got the oil of Olay in it, but it, look, I do use it. Absolutely, I do use it a lot. It's about time for me to get another one, okay? So, this is the one we're going to look at today. This one is Simply Ageless Skin Perfector Essence. And it is just so cool. It's got these little beads running through it. <gasps> Girl, this is really pretty on the skin. It's like a serum, okay? So, this one is totally different. It's more of a cream. This is more of a serum. So, I want to show you how beautiful this is on your skin. So, you know what you got to do? Just keep watching. So the one thing you really need to do before you start doing your foundations, make sure your skin is clean and then go ahead and make sure you put on your skincare. You can see I have on my skincare. So I'm just going to kind of blot through here, you know, basically get some of it off, not too much, and make sure you do your under eyes. I um, have got uh, my under eye game kind of, I'm working on it. I'm still working on it. And when I find something that's really perfect, I'm going to let you know but right now i'm trying out something new so if it really works i'm going to share it here with you always i share stuff with you so i'm going to grab i'm going to show you how i use this and also i do have on charlotte tilbury this is her um magic cream and i ordered this from ulta and it came in and i really do like it. it's kind of thick but i really do like the way it goes on there and of course i put rosehip seed oil through here too just a little bit not a whole lot that's the kind of sh that's probably what you see that's shiny so the first thing we're going to do is i'm going to grab my stuff i'm going to do my you know i got to do my primer my face primer and then we're going to work right into this foundation so i have two <laughs> of these I want to use and this one is you know Smashbox I really like Smashbox I'm gonna put this like in my nose here area and then this one of course is the illuminating this is unique's uh, I love this and it's look at that I've almost I got a new one I do but the first thing that I do is I put the Smashbox on okay and I don't use a whole lot just a little bit and I also do you know mix this with um the stuff that I do around my eyes but right now we're going to put this on real quick I do like to mix it with my concealer that goes under my eyes I don't know which concealer I'm going to use today but I basically just put this right there it really is so soft and it's it's not tacky or sticky I love that part about it and when you do your fingers you can just feel it's a very soft product i like it i'm gonna keep, put it right here i gotta use it again now we're gonna use this and i'm gonna put this through well let me do this real quick i think i want to go ahead and go do my i want to do my spray mist so spray your face oh that feels so good when it hits your face so i really do like this because it is a mist it's fine and it just lays right on your skin and you go oh my goodness that it does it feels refreshing to your face then we're gonna come back and use this all right, little put a little bit of this, not much. I just do one pump. There you go. Can you see the shine in it? Yes, ma'am, you can. And so take it, put it in my fingers. I dab it right through the center of my face. That's where we need to do it. And just kind of buff it in. Now, do not put it under my under eyes, okay? I've already taken care of that part. Um, unless you want it shiny there. I just, you know, I just don't really need it shiny there. I try not to get it too close to my under eyes at all because I'm going to prepare that in a different way. Okay, look at that. That is so pretty. Now, I do like to let this set just for like a minute to adhere to my skin. So, while, we're, while I'm waiting on that, I'm going to go grab what I need that I want to do. I want to show you a technique. I'm going to show you some the two things that I use to apply this with, and I think... You may already have one of these things and the other one you may want to get, okay? So, <laughs> I want to grab it and we're going to get started. All right, y'all ready? Let's do it. These are the two items that I use to apply this with. This is BK Beauty's 101 brush. I absolutely love this. I know it looks like a contour brush, but it actually is a foundation brush and it works so good. It's very, very soft. 
you know, oh, I love it. I have been using it. I don't know. I, rec I, I think I thought it was too big for me. And so I just tried it like two weeks ago and I really do like it. And then of course I got the original beauty blender and yes, it is moist. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do, you really don't have to shake this up. Um, it is a pump. Let me move that off there. <laughs> and I'm just going to put about that much. Okay. And what I did because this is, see see how it is? It's really, really light and it's shiny. So what I've done last time, I just kind of bounce it throughout my skin. And I am going to add a little bit of concealer because I do like the concealer in the center of my face so that it, um, you know, brings light to the center of my face and not, you know, look so dull. I like it like that. I don't know. You may not. You do you, girlfriend. And so if I feel like I need some more, I start off with minimal. Just very minimal. See that? Look how light that is. You can't even see it. I'm going to put a little bit over here on this big old brown spot. <laughs> yes, it needs some help right there. That always needs help. I promise you. And start a little at a time and do it. And you build up to what you want it to look like. So I'm going to take this brush and I'm just going to stipple it into my skin like this. And it really looks like your skin, but your skin's just glowing, pretty much. But if you want more full coverage, I would recommend some kind of concealer. I think I would use a cream concealer, um, like RMS. I love their RMS Beauty's, um, what is it, Uncover Up Concealer. I like it. I do. I like it a lot. So I probably will use a little bit of that. See how pretty that is? Look at that. And you thought, I know what you was thinking. You was thinking that that ain't going to do nothing. Look how light that is. It's not going to do something. Look how light that is. I made that so Southern. Heck, if I say something you don't understand, please ask me. So what the heck did you just say? And what does that mean? Because I use a lot of, you know, slang words kind of that are definitely because, you know, I'm Alabama. I'm going to sound like it, too. I got that southern drawl, no doubt. Okay. I really don't think I want to add anything else to this. I love the way this looks. Now, of course, that little spot's there. So, that you know, you got to keep in mind that if you really want to get rid of the spots, I'm going to use the RMS, though. I'm going to just dot the RMS where I want it. And then we could come back. Let's add just a tad more. I'm going to do one little squirt more. That's it. And I'm not going to even bounce it around. I'm just going to go ahead and grab it while it's on the back of my hand and just do that. And we'll see if we can't kind of fill that in. So, yeah, you could build some food. Look at that. That looks better. So, yeah, you could probably come back and put it. This is where my nemesis is right here. All of this right here. So, I'm hoping the new Dermalogica product that I bought is really going to help with this. I've only used it one time. I used it last night. And I really do like it. And it's one of those mask things that you put on and you leave it and you for a little bit, not long. And then you just come back and you wash it off. And it's supposed to help get rid of, you know, fade brown spots. So I hope it does work. I ordered it. Um, I ordered it off of Amazon is what I did. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Let me tell you what color I'm using. I didn't even tell you that. Um, let's see if I can find it on here or I'll put it there. So, mm, where's the color? Gosh, that's hard to read. Are y'all like me and you just, your eyeballs ain't working like they used to. <laughs> I have my weapon. So here's my weapon. I use the color 30. Okay, that's it. I use the color, it's a light medium, uh, pale, oh well. That's in another language, but it's a light medium. It's number 30. <laughs> I know I ain't all here. Okay. You know, I'm just made that way. Okay. So what we're going to do next, I really want to go ahead and do my under eyes so I can have that done. So, I mean, I've done my eyes already, so I don't really need to do anything there. So let's grab, I'm going to use Huda. Okay. And then we'll come back and we'll use the RMS. To, I'm going to let this sit for a few minutes, okay? That was my thought process. You could go ahead and spray this if you want to, if you want to make sure that you it's not going to move. You could come back and add this and spray it over it if you want to. That's fine. I usually just wait to the end to do that. 
So what I'm going to do is take my Smashbox. You know, I love this. This looks really well under your under. And yes, I use the back of my hand for a lot now. See, put some there. And then you're going to grab your whatever you like. I like Huda. This is the color Marshmallow. And this is a messy bottle. This is my second one. So evidently, this just does this, okay? So sometimes I scrape it off the sides. But today, I'm just going to kind of lay it right on top, right on the side, like that. You see it? I'm just kind of going to mix these two together. That's what I'm going to do. I love this color. It's really pretty on the skin. It's very creamy. I like that. So it's not chalky feeling when it goes on. So let's mix it up. We do a lot of mixing, don't we? Yes, we do. All right, take this. Bounce it. Bounce it. Okay. Think about it now. This already has the primer in it. So it's going to work. So you're not having to add anything extra. If, if you want, if you don't want to do something like that, you could take a setting spray like this. Spray it on your finger and put it underneath. I've done that, uh, but I really like this better, okay? I think this just looks better on me. See, I didn't even use all of that. Go figure. I could pop some of it just up and down my face. Let's do that. I don't want to waste it because I was going to do some Huda anyway, and I like to put light here and here and definitely there because that jowl, your jowl's going down. It's like, I don't want to have a permanent frowny face, <laughs> but you know, it is what it is, and I'm just going to go with it, I guess. Okay, see, I actually used all of that. There we go. Yay! Now, I'm going to take my fingers, because I think your fingers are your best tool, and you just kind of blend this in with your hand, and don't go fast with it. Use your ring fingers, because those are the ones that are the least resistance, and you're not going to pull your skin and you're going to love, love, love this. Now, I do push this all the way out, just like that. I'm going to let it set just for a second. And I'm going to grab my Beauty Blender. Now, if I wanted to color correct, this was the place I should do it. I don't think I'm going to color correct today. I think it's just going to be me. And <laughs> just be me. If I was going to color correct, see that? I'd put it there. Uh, peachy color is what I would use. And I do use NYX. I have a brand new NYX um, stick just for that, but I'm not going to do that today. We're just going to go with it, just like this. And I can just kind of bounce this across to even it out all through here. And see how pretty that's made this? I mean, absolutely gorgeous. I love the, um, I love the RMS. This one, um, I think, is a number 11, and the other one I have is 22. So this one's a little darker than this one. So this depends on what you want to do. Off. that's up to you now I'm going to quickly go off camera and I'm going to do my brows you've seen me do my brows before I could link something here you know to my brow tutorial for this product this is a product I'm going to use right here this is the RMS back to brow and it comes in a kit just like this with the powder then you've got this brush and then you've got the actual pencil liner so let me go do that and we'll be back and I want to finish this face up for you we're going to contour just a little bit. We're not going to make it. It's going to be something like you wear to work, out and about. But you could also dress it up if you want to. So, I'll be right back. Okay, there's my brows. Look at that. Brows frame your face. Don't forget to do your brows. This That's a great product. See how natural they look? I just love it. I absolutely love it. And I had never tried it before. I never even heard of the company. It just happened to come across in my um, feed one day. And I'm like, oh, that's pretty cool looking. So I thought, I need to try that. So right now I'm just patting some It's Translucent Bye Bye Pores right here. Powder, the loose powder. And setting that area. I went back and looked at it and made sure that nothing was settling in my lines. So it's perfect now for me to apply this. Some people like to go ahead and do it uh right after i kind of like to let mine warm up to my body first my skin and then i can come back and say okay i got just a little bit it's usually going to find creasing like right up underneath these lashes right here that's where i find it i mean i got a lot of lines don't get me wrong i do I got a lot of lines unfortunately <laughs> i'm almost 62 can you believe that september I'm going to be 62. 
Where's the time gone? I do not know. Now, I am going to use some products by Unique. I'm going to use, I will, I've been using both of these. Now, I have this color, um, Barely Bronzed. I like it. And I actually use this Chocolate Souffle, which you see, that's what's on my eyes. Yeah. You can use these to contour. You can use them on your eyes. You can use them on your lips. There are a lot of different colors. I think what we're going to do today is I think I'm going to go ahead and use, I don't know which one I want to, I want to keep this kind of light. So let's do the Barely Bronzed. It's not going to be as dark as this color here, the other one. See the difference in the colors? This would be pretty though. I could, let's just, let's just use both of them. <laughs> Why not? You know what? I fly by the seat of my pants quite a bit. Today's one of those days. Okay. So we're going to come here. Notice now I haven't put any powder on my face yet. I don't need it yet. Um, that's going to come at the end. Now I'm keeping this pretty high up here. I don't really want to this. I am going to blend it up just a tad. And then I'm going to use this one here. This color here. I don't want it really dark through here. I kind of like a lighter color there. And so I could come right here for that. And I could put just a little here and a little here. Just on the top of my forehead. That's really all I need as far as this bronzer goes. And let's see which one is the lightest one. I'm going to use the lightest one. The Barely Bronzed. And we're just going to kind of lightly take that one right underneath the jawline. Y'all got jowls? I'm kind of getting mad at my jowls there. They're really starting to be my best friend because they're coming on strong. <laughs> We're using the beauty blender to blend this out. I don't want this to be too long, but you know what? I think finish it, finishing it out may give you the sense of, hey, I can do this. You can. You can do it. Now, blend this with this. You could use a brush. You do not have to use a beauty blender. I just think a beauty blender sometimes is faster for me, and that's the reason I use it. But, you know, I'm going to use, a no I'm going to, on my nose, I'm going to use actual brush, okay? This, remember, needs to be some right up into your hairline. Don't leave it down there to look like a ring or something. It won't look correct. So blend it upward. That's the reason I like to use the Beauty Blender because it goes right up into my hairline. And it gives me just some warmth up there. You see that? It's some pretty warmth. You can take it right across through here if you want to. Whatever's left. And then I'm going to use a brush, though, for my nose and we are going to use let's see what this one is 108 yes 108 i like this bk beauty 108 brush and i like to come down through here with it and what i'll probably do is come back and just pop the beauty blender right over it just to kind of take away anything i don't need okay that's that's my thought process when i do this this way and we are going to bring a little concealer down our nose just a little bit. I, maybe I don't need any. Hmm. That looks pretty good. Now, if you want to come over here and kind of blend this out, you can with your brush. Since you already have it in your hand, <laughs> you can do that. Come under here. Make sure you've got everything blended like you want. Okay? Now, I'm going to use, I'm going to use some blush, but I don't know. I'm. You know what? I mean, we're going to use Man Eater. This is Tarte. I love it. It's called Pink. Isn't that an original name? This is so pretty. I, I do love it. It's very, very light. And I don't know why they named it Man Eater, but hey, works for me because I think it's beautiful. It's just a light. It's not a baby pink, but it's just so, it's like a hint of pink when you blend it out. I'm going to use my beauty blender to do it. And um, see, I didn't even come any further than my eye. So my corner of my eye. So make sure you take it back up. And push it right up into that hairline. And see, it's just a flush of color. That's why I like this one. I don't know how many uh, colors the tart thing comes in, but however, I do like it. Now I'm going to bounce it right across through here. Whatever's left. See how pretty that is? Oh, I love it. Absolutely love it. Now, I'm going to do my lips off camera, and then we're going to kind of finish all this up. See how easy this is? You can do it. Okay, one thing that I have found not too long ago, I had no idea, but I went and found, I was looking for a brown pencil, okay? This is by Pixie. It is like a black cocoa. That's the name of it, black cocoa. 
and so it's like the perfect blend between a black and a brown so i'm going to take a little bit of this and look i want you to see how how easy look how easy that glides on girl it's nice it's not chalky or anything like that but i'm going to take up this brush here this is a two two oh four two no two oh nine i'll put everything you know it'll come across the screen here <laughs> and i'm gonna take a little bit of this like on the end here and i just want to run it like right under here not much just enough to get that little darkness and the lift i have downward turned eyes so this really does help it's very creamy and i like the fact that it's easy to use it blends like a dream it does it's so nice look at that isn't that pretty girl yeah. now i gotta do that side we got two sides oh i tell you it has been so busy lately i was so lucky i got my hair done yesterday oh gosh i've been going so long just because I didn't have the time to go get it done. So, Lizard left work early. I left at three yesterday. Yay. Because she wanted me there by four, so she gave me a good little bit of time in case I run into traffic or something. See how I blend that out? Isn't that pretty? Let's come back and look at it. What do you think? Let me look at it here. I'm going to bring just a little bit of it up here. The reason I like doing this is because I, you know, the shape of my eyes, this one's more downturned than this one. So I use this to kind of give me that lift that I need. Now, as far as mascara goes, what I have on today, I have on Unique's Quadra. And then I topped it off with Thrive. Yeah, I mixed the two. Why? Because I like the length that the Thrive gives. But the Quadra has... Um, a serum in it that makes your lashes grow and mine have really grown a lot and so for me that's just like the perfect thing in the world because i needed i need that length and it's so much easier to do my lashes now and i really do like them yes i like them but that's it that's all i'm going to do for my under eyes and the cool thing about this is you could take a little bit of setting spray if you want to this is just another tip tip and here's my misting spray take this just spray the end of it and if you have a fear of it coming out you know and getting down here on your skin just tap this across there and it will stay now it's wet but that product's not going to move okay now you're set. So don't come. <laughs> the worst thing in the world is to go in the bathroom and nobody's told you you got a big blob right here yeah that's happened to me so I learned to do that to make it much easier, okay? So, wow, look at that. I really like it. So last thing we got to do, girlfriends, pow, pow. I'm going to use Laura Mercier. I love this. It's so pretty. And don't forget, I'll list everything. I'll tag everything that uh, is not unique. Um, and I like to put the powder here. I like to put it over here, okay? It's not that I'm going to bake or anything like that. I could if I wanted to. Um, and I do put it a little right through the center. Okay. So what happens with this, because sometimes we can get too much powder. And I came up with this myself. I thought, how can I, how can I use less powder but yet set my face? Okay. Because I know I've got primer on, all that good stuff. But you still need to kind of set it with something. Of course, you can set it with this as well, which I do at the end. But I take this and I just blend it out. And just kind of blend it right. It's so soft. And it will set everything. And it's not going to take away from the color that we just put on. And I just think it's beautiful. And I don't know what kind of brush this is. It's just a fluffy brush. This is my granddaughter's favorite brush. So when she comes, this is what she uses. <laughs> Her purple brush that's hers mm -hmm, look at that now you know i love revolution yes i do if you've watched me anytime you know i do so i'm going to put this on first before i finish it off with the other spray your beauty blender comes in handy girlfriend here it is i'm gonna do it again and i'm gonna shake it 
spray this and I'm going to put it right through here and it's going to give you the most sheen shine. Oh Lord, I love it. And it smells wonderful. It feels so good going on your skin. It does. I love it. It's one of my favorite products. But you will probably not be able to find it in stores. I've looked. Uh, Target usually carried it. I can't find it. Walmart used to carry it. I can't find it. So I just order it online is what I do. I just go and find it online. Ah, there you go. Ta-da! And we are done. Isn't that the simplest thing ever? I love the eye look. If you want me to do the eye look for you, um, just say, hey, how about doing a video on the eye look? Because it's very, very simple and easy. Simplistic. I'm talking about two products. And you done. <laughs> All right. Please like and share and click that notification bell. I'm excited to have you here every week. And I'm only here on Saturdays. So, well, Sundays. I film on Saturdays. Today's Saturday. So come back on Sundays and see what else I come up with. If you have something you want me to kind of touch on for you, and if you're in the 60s like me, uh, put it in the comments. I'd love to help you out with, you know, some tips and tricks or something else that might help you with, with the problems that you're having. So the best thing you can do is do your skincare. Do your skincare every day. I do my night and, and morning, always. Always do your skincare because that's the basis of everything. Your skin's got to be good for everything else to kind of flow and look, you know, cohesive like this does all over. Okay. Love y'all. I will see y'all next Sunday. Y'all have a great and fabulous week and day. See you later.